So I figured I'd watch through some of the stuff that I haven't uh, seen just yet. Let's see here. So this is Tasty Steve's footage. Uh, new full game Street Fighter 6 footage, Marissa, E Honda, DJ Lily, Manon, and JP. Love all those words. Thanks, Tasty Steve. If you guys haven't, go click the subscribe button for Tasty Steve down here. One thing, though, I will say, if you're a JP enjoyer, he is useless in this version of the game against the other CPUs. My understanding from everybody, including the Cap Cops, is they're like, yeah, because JP is like a zoner, all his stuff is about reactions. The CPUs all beat him because they just react frame one to everything he does because the other CPUs input read him. In reality, I think JP will be good. But in the CPU, in the world of the CPUs, you know, being his owner, not that strong, I think. New Dawson stage with so one thing to talk about for Lily too is her heavies are great. That's her crouching medium punch. And uh, in general, she has really good buffers off of it. Oh, they both impacted. I don't think you'll see humans do this very often, but for CPUs, I'm sure that this is gonna be quite common where like they drive impact at the same time like this. Look at how far away he can hit this, this button, this crouching, I think this is crouching medium punch into core circle staff move. I forget the name of this, but yeah, this is really JP solid. Also got hands he has good like far good buttons to hit really and like just push people away. Like, what a mossy one. So we turn the CPU to this is also something that I really think is really good for Lily. She can hit her back heavy punch. Look at how far this goes it's special cancelable she can drive rush cancel it link off of it it's like this move goes so far her crouching heavy punch and standing heavy punch also are special cancelable and her forward heavy punch and they all swing the batons like this so she's got good range on everything she does she's not very fast as a character when she's walking and dashing but she has a condor yeah dude look at this immediately parries the spike and then parries the drive impact it's pretty funny she basically like is not very mobile in her her grounded movement but then she just has you know plus frame advancing special move at any time that's her jump body splash too Pretty good having a, a splash quite a few characters had a splash that's her standing heavy punch pretty sure this is the one or is this crouching heavy that's standing heavy kick crouching medium punch and standing medium kick is her like special damn that was a deep auto crack dp holy shit but there it is, the power up like I was talking about before. This is kind of what you do with this character you sort of just like get this power up and then you just do this you just condor spire it hits three times, so it will break drive impact, and it's plus on block. And then afterwards, you can command grab, or you can do like a low confirm, you know? Yeah, it's plus on block, the Condor Spire, which is obviously very spooky. There's actually a really cool combo here too. Look at this, like EX wall bounce, drive rush, into standing heavy punch, into the spike. That's cool. It does, the spike doesn't work, but. That's a cool idea, drive rushing off of that juggle. Damn, I think it's gonna surprise me constantly how far away this move combos. She gotta be dead, right? All right, now with that whack ass combo. Doesn't take the advantage, but look at how much range even Lily has with these weapons. Wow. I feel like if there was anything else would have been a kill right there. This, you still need to this be looks aware juicy. Of where these are. Look at how consistently good, like this anti-air looks great. Crouching heavy, one button anti-air, that's good, is spooky. Having a zoner who just has like a one button anti-air that's like, yup, gotcha. That is always annoying to deal with. That's why you jump again. They never expect it. Close will really get you a lot. EX in the level two. Look at that damage on the level two. So you see that she does like the EX here. And it builds one bar of uh, wind. And then when she level twos, it goes away. It spends it. Speaking of. That shit did a lot of damage. Oh, the mix. Oh, the combo. Excuse okay. me. All right, bro. The that makes up for the combo from earlier. <laughs> Driving that was tight. Work, getting that clean suit all dirty. Once again, those jump ins looking really good versus JP. Oh, wow, she has time to do... No way. Really Does she actually have time to do this? It looks close. This is close to actually being real. He starts pairing around the time she recovers. So maybe she's like slightly plus or zero or something. Oh, the it, power it's pretty close. Go straight for the command throw and you die. Honda? And I've seen like no Honda footage, by the way. Damn, right away headbutt power up. That's uh, her core circle forward kick. 
that you saw right here this this lunging kick i wonder how it is on block the different versions go uh Marissa different what's it called and different distances so yet, like the heavy I'm ones like slower and goes further this is also a new move from honda right yet, like he has this new like sumo rush stance and then he can do this like triple hit out of it there's another move he can do it that's a follow-up from it but this is like the triple hit that's that's a new thing that he has that wasn't in the old game this move does so much damage by the way i think the point of it too is going to be when you charge this if what people will do is mash right because in this game when you block stuff you block a move and you're like oh it's my turn to swing so you do something and then you charge up this move and it catches your normal that does so much but now that sumo power up yeah, the also, sumo step has a launcher, and it has, like, a straight to, like, hit that he can do. Right this, there. right here, the standing medium punch, then this is light medium. I think this only works on counter hit. Ooh. Do you see the CPU frame one grab, uh, jumping the command grab? I wanted to see what would happen there if she drive impacted. Or if she could have drive impact after. But we didn't get to see it. No level three, though. Ugh. Oh, my gosh, the walk up. Yeah. That did so much. Oh my god, he's fucking dead. Oh. You know, I think it's really funny that the combo everybody's been doing after Drive Impact for this character, Drive Impact, and then just charging the punch. Oh. This, this is the new move. It's a stance that he like walks forward in, and then you can do follow-ups from. He has like a launcher, and then he has this move, which is like a triple hitting mid those are like the two things that he can do from so it fluid. damn word perfect parry hands combo and he does get a combo nice i wonder conversion. if it's heavy punch heavy Scaling, hands into that like that's what the combo really like is Scaling after perfect her hand here looks Makes good it looks oh so my good gosh i think some people are damn. where are you going jesus christ the audio i think some people are Look, guys... like sad that he lost mash hands but some people are like happy like if you don't know how to piano you know it's Look at annoying because you're just like dude i couldn't do these hands the whole time if you knew how to do piano you're like boo look at how much that did by itself how much drive gauge does she lose blocking hands okay so she's like at almost full Ooh, you see this trident rush that was like a solid half a block mm. on one hand drive impact gets through straight to the level that's pretty good she's about to get burnt out oh the level two. Oh my gosh you see him it was trying to rush you see that there? this is the wildest shit in all of the footage i've seen by the way did you see this get back in there? she is burnt out and she can parry drive impact so she she goes into her counter stance that is unreal right like that is super useful I don't, I think she's plus here too. Look, like Honda's still recovering. I bet you she can punish this. The stance is plus three on hit normally, yes. You but that's not the situation because there? he's recovering from drive impact still. Because she armors through and hits him. So she might be way more than plus three. And look at the versus screen walking. It's actually set up around whatever stance. Yeah, this is cool. Yo, if you want to watch this footage, I saw someone's like, wh where can I watch DJ this footage without all this pausing? Like, why isn't there official foot? Click on this. Click on Tasty Steve on YouTube. Go watch it there. Yeah, she goes hard in the in the intro. So does DJ. DJ is vibing. That's his air target combo. Yo, feel it. It's a uh, jump medium punch something. A lot of characters oh, have a target combo like Yo, that in this, this game. Yo, this dude DJ is sick. Yo, he's still grooving after the move hits. Do you see, by the way, how this far dude, his fucking crouching jab Yo, he's goes? This is his crouching jab versus her crouching medium punch. Yo. His crouching jab goes so far. Grooving after the move hits. She can spin through the fireball with this. Uh, I think this is her hit grab, right? Dude, his jab is absurd. It's really good. Oh, this is real. I wonder if you have to be preemptive about this. Uh, like back sway into anti air. This is humongous. Oh my God. One thing I was concerned about for him was like, I wonder if his anti air is without charge because, you know, his down up charge is up kicks, right? So that's like an anti air move. I wonder if his back sway is actually a consistent anti-air. He does it really early. So I wonder if you can react with like back sway into this and anti-air. Anti that is really high up there. Got a follow -up. His crouching jab went really far. And not only that, but you could cancel it into medium sobot and it's not charged. So he has a non-charge move knockdown off of his jab. Pretty nice because, you know, previously DJ, he was just like a charge character. 
And now he doesn't have to worry about it. He can just like do whatever he wants. Not worry about the charge. Oh. This is standing reset. You can choose to take the knockdown. He can keep you standing with a target combo too, this one. Light, medium, heavy. That's interesting. So I wonder if he's gonna be all about standing reset. When I was messing around with drive rush with him, he could do crouching heavy punch into standing medium kick into crouching medium punch. Uh, I don't know if it's range specific or not, but yeah, that's like a link that he can do. If this wasn't a CPU, that was a cool idea. First of all, crouching light kick, crouching medium punch worked from forever. That was so far. Then this is standing reset. And then he did back sway, I think, to like bait something. Like if you do back sway here and then they throw tech, you just like back sway and then do a button and then you punish them and then you get like a combo. But the CPU just command grabs it because, you know. He gets crouching jab, drive rush, standing jab, crouching heavy punch. Mm crouching medium punch a couple of characters have stuff like this right i mean i think being able to do a light into a heavy on drive rush is really good but that is super useful to have to get three hits after that that's like yeah thanks for the matches tasty steve what the he's real i thought he was the ai the whole time his um fireball is charge it's charge back and then forward punch his up kicks are charged down then up and kick his sway is like quarter circle back kick his sobot is core circle forward kick and then his machine gun uh blow is core circle back dj looks so fun i can't wait to play him when the game's out i saw that justin uploaded some cpu matches too when i went to the office right the first thing that i had heard is oh yeah justin fought cpu zangief yesterday and it beat his ass all right it's not just me out here oh, struggling parry, against parry? CPU zangief. Uh -huh. Bro. Hey, it's Justin's Some YouTube. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe to Justin. Does he just like post all the matches? Let's look. Look at how much drive gauge. Oh. Holy God. That did so much. Because he let go of parry. He like parried. And then he let go and did something else. Oh my God. An absolute. Like right here. Fuck ton of drive like gauge. Parry animation and count as a punish counter. Maybe the computer you can't punish the parry, second, so he did something after. There's no recovery on parry in this game. If you parry, you can always block the frame after, unless it's been changed from the beta. So if you're holding parry and then you let go and you block, you can block the frame that you let go of parry. So the CPU did something after this and then got punish counter. Regular counter hits are when you and your opponent both do an attack at like a similar-ish time and one of you interrupts the other. Punish counter is when the move is over, like it's whiffed or it's unsafe, and then you get the punish is, counter. This oh, is punish counter SPD. Oh my God, look at the damage on that punish counter light punch SPD. That's yeah, like that's not even like right EX there. SPD or something or like the big high damage one. This is how much damage the punish counter EX SPD does. Holy shit. You die in like two and a half of these. Unless it's changed from the beta, every character in this game has the same amount of life. Everybody's life bar gets, gets nuked like this. The thing about balancing by life is that it's a way to balance characters, but you don't have to do it that way because like Akuma like is the character where they just give him all the best stuff always and then they balance him by having lower life, but he was still top tier in every version. Generally, you give them lower life and then you just give them really nasty tools and at a high level, that ends up being like extremely dominant because if you just have the best versions of all the tools, it makes up for all the, the life you're missing. It is a way to balance characters. It, it doesn't have to be the way. And I think they've just decided not to do it. Zangief, like the computer was was serving me up, not gonna lie. See, it's not just uh, me. Uh, that, like, the computer's just countering everything I want to do. See? Light punch SPD again. Drive rush into it. That looks like it's plus possibly. I, I would guess uh, it's plus. He's dead right now. Bro, I am just getting straight scooped. Look at the CPU. Zangief has some really cool stuff. <laughs> air, that's the air. I wonder if like for a human, that's actually like a thing you can anti-air with as a reaction anti-air or if it has to be a read because yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like oh. he just does it right away. So and even it's like, Stan what's up? regular, it doesn't matter if the hold it has armor. Drive rush SPD is definitely a thing. Drive rush SPD is actually mad good. Yeah, drive. And it's like, interesting I because like I don't know if you guys have been watching like the Japanese the players play the demo. That medium but kick. But there is like a little bit of a meta that's already forming from them where like what people are doing is when they see someone drive rush, they just parry. So then people were trying to do drive rush throw automatically to beat the parry. So grapplers that have big command grabs, that's going to be pretty strong. I think you have to instead try and like check the drive rush because if you 
let him do it and you're gonna like get smoked. The CPU is very move ready. You can beat the CPU very easily if you don't play it seriously, doing drive rush overhead over and over, or just like immediate over and over, just like poke it to death and immediate to death and like do that, it will lose pretty easily. His stand light kick is actually quite good. His stand light kick is really far and it's special cancelable, so he can like, drive rush cancel it. I wonder if he can do light right, kick, air, drive rush, like, crouching yes, jab, crouching the, medium punch, lariat. lariat. That's the air throw super. If he can do that, that's pretty good. This is cool. Look at this combo right here. So I didn't know there was two enders. There's obviously the regular. There's a bunch of enders to this super. So this super has a bunch of different follow-ups. So there's like the, the follow-up that gives you a juggle. There's like a follow-up that like side swaps. There's a follow-up that's just damage. So he just has, yeah, this is like the, the you know, the jackknife just, or whatever this thing is called. Big follow-up, slam a rama it's damage. There's one where he puts you same side, and then there's one that he side swaps you. He's got some combos into Larry. I just said Zang, you don't got combos. Ooh, See, that's what ooh, I was thinking. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Dude, crouching jab, jab, crouching medium strong. punch, Larry, I Dry figured it would work because you get so much strong, extra frame advantage on your crouching jab. Geef looks out of shape. Post a picture no. of yourself right now. Like okay. strong humans, does they the look like this. Finish? They're like big. Uh, they don't just look damn. like they're shredded uh, with abs. Was, like my shit. turn. Like they're just big dudes. This if you're gonna be that actually, strong, like you have to. And dude. He has like that drop kick, which is kind of whack, but. Dude. Uh. That anti air super on. The, I don't know how good it's gonna be it's by humans, but the CPU really does possible. it a lot. Look, that's like so good. So that's like a drive rush and the running bear grab. Then running bear grab has running armor too, so close, it's probably pretty good. Too late. Hey, this is the uh, other command you grab. Get that one. So he has the running bear grab, which you just saw. If you do the same input and you're right next to him, then close, he does this, which late. is really good. This this command grab in Street Fighter 4 gave him Oki. You get that one. And this looks like he has more time to like dash in and do something, actually. Command it grab, used to give him from, like his best Oki. Right, so unique attack. He has like so many unique attacks. A lot of characters are like this. If you've seen anybody open up the move list, every character has like 12 command normals. That's he has like different regular throws. Down forward, down back, neutral, and forward and back. Bro. So this is down back. Oh, the DDT is sick, but the side spine buzzer, you get you get so much oaky from this. And this is down forward. So you see, got the, the triple the stomp. Yeah, Larry. He's saying the third hit doesn't combo, but I imagine you could just do triple stomp into drive rush, right? If it's not interruptible. Yeah, Geef with no be, green hand, no low combo. tier. The thing is about Geef, he's been top tier without green hand. You know, green hand as like a combo move or like to beat fireballs. Like he has drive rush and drive impact in this game. The system gives him an answer to it, right? Yeah, I feel like the give Zangief green hand thing is like people who played for or maybe didn't even play for and they just don't know anything about Zangief. He's been good without it. He's been bad with it. And green hand Geef in four was kind of boring. Can we all agree that green hand Geef just doing jab, 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 light kick green hand or short, 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 short green hand. Like that's not the most exciting combo even. I think making him not have green hand, but have cooler grabs and command grabs and stuff is more fun than this. Yeah, normal green hand was minus on hit. That's true. And in Street Fighter V, he was top tier. Like he's very, very strong in a, quite a few versions. He's bad in the last version of the game. Uh, but he was good for a, a while. Cap, it's true. Why do I just like say sentences and stuff when I can just speak the same language as you? Uh, Zangief W and then Zangief L. Street Fighter V Zangief now. Why does his jab jab not combo? They really did him dirty in the last version of the game. I'm not really sure why he's like that. Like season two Geef was great. Like he was so good. And like even season three and stuff, it's not like he was a miserable character, but they really just made him so bad. Like the last version of Zangief in the game is like a joke to me. He can win, sure. But like, why does he not get the combo all this shit? Like no grab invincibility on EXSPD. They just like went and took all this shit from him. They're like, let's get rid of everything. Capcom hitbox two button DP is not allowed. Capcom check out modern control one button DP. Are you okay? You know you can play modern control on hitbox. You good, bro? There's like two subsets of hitbox users. There's like the regular people who are like super nerdy about it. And then there's like people who are drooling. And that one, I think I know which W or L that is. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is not a joke, right? Now leverless controllers are really popular. Like everybody uses them. But when hitbox first came out, what people used to say about Hitbox is Hitbox is the best and it's cheating, but everybody who plays on them sucks. Because like nobody wanted to switch. Like, you know, learning a whole new control scheme is a lot, right? 
So people who did switch, they had the power, but they just weren't winning with it. And now it's the opposite. Everybody's like, dude, why are you playing on stick, you old boomer? Like, this shit's good. All right, is there any other footage to take a look at? I didn't actually watch the cami trials, I guess. Whoa, she gets back medium. This is her an old hard combo, right? Back medium into heavy kick. And then she can do heavy kick after. Well, her heavy kick looks so weird. I think any character that gets this, like heavy special special in the corner off drive impact, that's pretty nice. Dude, I don't know if you guys have seen the like Manon's useless downplay, the 10 frame command grab. Then I've already seen people being like, it's over, bro. It's like, Cammy does no damage. Just, we got to pack it up. Like, there's nothing we can do. People are already like making tier lists and like dooming about the game based on this footage from people playing for an hour. <laughs> Maybe she does less damage than Ryu, which is normal. She also has the same life as everybody. She still gets crouching light kick into EX drill side swap anywhere. Damn, that's good. That is so good. Having just a side swap like that is really nice. I think it's cool that she gets to charge her moves like this. She's allowed to charge her moves and then they gain additional juggles and stuff. Basically, it gives her the proper properties of her V-Trigger versions of the moves in 5 without having to do it. Oh, bruh. Her dive kick is plus enough for her to do back medium punch? In what? What? She also built the bar back from the EX here. Like, she spent EX dive kick, and then if she hits, she builds like half a bar back, and then she's gonna get Oki. She'll like do a block string and then build the bar back after too. EX dive kick looks really fast up close though if you tiger knee it though. She did it in the uh, matches we saw the developer matches. Yeah, I can't think of really a what the hell. What happened there? Who was that? Um, what's it called? I was gonna say that what's the jump scares? I know that almost all the characters. I, I can't think of a character that feels weak. All the characters seem like they have really strong stuff. This is what you get off hooligan grab. Damn, that's scary. That's that's pretty good damage. Look at the corner carry, brother. What? Look at how far she carries you. I know. Yeah, that's no super meter either. Pretty solid damage. Smasher. She doesn't get a side swap too. Wow, Crouching Medium Kick did this much damage. Crouching Medium Kick scale combos a lot, by the way. They have like a special scaling attribute to them where they scale combos super heavily. That this is no is drive really gauge either, right? This is just like confirm without any drive gauge at all. Is the Steve commentary in game? No, it's his YouTube. Like she just is like, oh, mid screen, no problem. Let me just drill you into the corner of Opera Cup. Historically, one of Cammy's biggest strengths, right, is like her throw pressure is great because you're scared of dive kick. The way dive kick characters work is that you need space against them to stop dive kicks, right? When you're in the corner, you can't position yourself. So when she dive kicks you, she can always just hit your shins and be plus, right? Like, I guess I'm just stuck. All right, that's just how it goes. Yeah, this isn't as much damage as like Ryu or Luke or something, but also like, you know, I don't expect Kami to do the same damage as them. The biggest thing about Kami is, dude, she has the same life as everybody else. So even if she does slightly lower damage, if her toolkit is really strong, besides that, then like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be really good. Street Fighter 6 feels like a game they want you to play. I mean, it's pretty clear. By the way, I like her little burnout animation at the end here. She's doing the old animation. This game, they put a lot of love into it and they spent a lot of money clearly making the game a cool video game instead of just a cool fighting game. Have you guys all seen on Twitter? People are saying the people who got access to this are cheating and Capcom allowing it after the crack is absurd. Have you seen this argument on Twitter? <laughs> Comparing having an hour to play this version of the game to record content to playing the crack for six months is like, first of all, if you make that tweet, you've been playing the crack. But yes, I, I accept this advantage that I have by playing the game early. So I will not enter a CPT tournament for the first 90 minutes the game is out. To make it fair, I'll make sure my pools are 91 minutes after the game comes out to minimize the advantage. And if the people who played the crack are mad that I got advantage, however many hours or days or months you played the crack, you should just take that time off from competing in the game too. So you've been playing for six months, just take six months off CPT and I'll take my 90 minutes off and we'll call it even, okay? If Evo finals is JM Cross versus Maximilian, they're right, okay? I'll admit it, I'll be like, you guys are right. Yeah, I have seen the Japanese players grinding the demo. I already think that like, yeah, I'm sort of getting to the point where like watching them play, I'm like, I think they've caught up. They obviously don't have the matchup 
experience from all the other characters to the same level as people who've been grinding the crank. But if it's Luke or Ryu in their bracket, they'll be ready. People complain about Street Fighter 6 damage as if there wasn't 60% health combos in SF5. Are they already complaining about the damage? I saw lots of people say, they were like, oh man, I can't wait to go from Strive to a game with, that I don't die in like one hit. And I was like, well, you know, I don't know how to break it to you. It's not like Street Fighter 6 is a low damage game. Also, it's funny because Street Fighter is a two out of three game until top eight. So like Strive has high damage, but it's three out of five. That shit's going to be hype. You know, some people are going to be pissed. Even Street Fighter 4, which I think people think is slower than five or six. Like there's that tournament match where Mark Teddy beat Fudo in like three minutes and he just kills him in like 10 seconds around. Like it's like he just explodes him. And it's not even like he's playing a high damage character. You want to talk about fair and honest Street Fighter? James Chenery tweeted this last night. This shit killed me. Look at this shit. Bring it back for the team. This is what Honest Street Fighter yeah. looks like. Nice anti-air huddle. Look at this. Zoning. Keep him the Solid defensive play. Ryu just Slowly fireball, fireball, He's fireball. Hold in space. So jump over it finally. Look at that. Looking good. Anti-air fireball. Tatsu. Super for the chip. And he just fireball. The super fireball. Robot. He's stuck. This is what this Honest is Street Fighter looks like. Sure, Uppercut nice the chicken wing. Damn, fireball, easy. fireball. It's over, bro. Oh, wow. Honest Street Fighter. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> was that? That was the, that was the clip. <laughs> that was it. Oh, oh, he's dead. GG's. Close game. Great patience from Fei Long. Yes, great patience. Masterclass in bulldogging. Yeah. Like ST is not. This is an honest Street Fighter. Third Strike's not honest Street Fighter. Four is not honest Street Fighter. Five's not honest Street Fighter. Six definitely not going to be honest Street Fighter. Yeah, this got uploaded too. I thought this was a cool idea. This Japanese account, they're actually way smarter than me. They just set the CPU to do a team tournament. Like this is the channel. They put Manon, Marissa, Kimberly, Lily, Kami, and then DJ, JP, Zangief, Dalsam, Honda. A really smart idea because then you get footage of all these characters against each other. So yeah, this is a really good idea. Bro, look at this. So this is what I talked about Manon a bit. I mentioned she has this EX overhead. And as you can see, it's punish counter, so she combos off of it. That's the medium version of that move. The light version is like a slide move. The heavy is an overhead and the EX is an overhead. But yeah, it's like she has these long range like mix up moves like that that are just super fast. And she just gets in there and like you're like, well, please help. Me. This shit is like instant and I just get it deleted, you know. But yeah, this footage is like really useful to have for sure because it's, you know, CPU footage against of all the characters. Oh my god, that was. I far. can't stand that kid. The other thing that's messed up is she Hello. keeps her medals. Now Manon has level three medals, and if she gets you with two more hit grabs or two more command grabs, then you're just dead, right? Like it's just, yeah, it's messed up. Look at this. Ex command grab damage at the start of the round is this high because of the metal level. Like that is, yeah very bad that i mean look it's over now if you get command grab i mean he's definitely dead yeah he's just yeah he's incredibly dead she is like so snowbally because of this right because if you get hit it's just like okay well i combo into this do a little command grab bing bang boom i'm gaming this is the cpu so she just grabs you like whenever you're doing anything right so like it's it's a little different than if you're just like fighting someone playing the character and like you can, you know, you're jumping out of stuff. But I do like that she just command grabs after that. I think that's an interesting idea. And then combos into the hit grab. So now she's already at level three metal level, by the way. You're like, uh oh. I don't know if you can change the rules from Pokemon actually. Look, standing resets, these are pretty sick. Now she's at level four. Help! And she's, she's just like, uh oh. If she gets another drive impact or like another, yeah, look at look at that too. It spikes you down. This is her anti air, and it's a target combo, crouching heavy, heavy, and it spikes you back down to the ground right in front of her. And I'm sure she can just drive rush here and do whatever pressure she wants to do. Yeah, and now she command grabs, and now she's at level five. So even if somehow she lost the round. Like, she's at level 5. I think that this looks scary, too. The drive rush off of Zangief's buttons and SPD. Drive rush in, drive rush, tick throw. If you're not holding up already, right, you're just going to get hit. So that's pretty scary. 
combo into the hit grab. Off the wall, by the way. She did back heavy punch into it. Oh, that didn't side swap. That's very interesting. Her back heavy punch is a really good combo move, too. Command grab again. She's level 4 already. That's, that's the scariest part to me, that she gets to keep it. Because if she just gets to keep it and she constantly is like leveling to three or four in the first round, you're just, you're gonna die. Oh my, that was so far. She didn't move, right? Okay, she hit a normal, still though. Wait, did that work? Oh. I was hyped for a second. Punish counter SPD. I think that was light SPD. <laughs> Lariat. Knee looks hot, solid in this game too. Like that hit pretty late. And it was like plus on block probably I would guess from that far away. I like that there's randomly Kimberly here too by the way. Is there, isn't there? Is there enough characters? Are they missing someone? They put Kimberly in. Who are they missing? They're missing somebody, right? Blanca? Yeah, they're missing Blanca. They could have put Blanca instead of Kimberly. Does Kimberly have a throw loop in the corner? Most characters can walk and throw loop like this. Dude, Zang is getting his absolute ass beat. Oh, look, it's Dalsum. Dude, this has got to be... Dalsum, CPU dalsum has got to get his ass beat by Kimberly, right? It's like almost... Oh, I haven't seen that like slow fireball from Dalsum yet. There's like no way CPU Dalsum wins this matchup, right? I'm he's done drive impact seven times. You can juggle off that, huh? It's like the the change they made in uh, five. You can juggle off the counter hit air to airs, I think. I don't remember what the best thing is per character though. Yeah, CPU level seven does way worse stuff than 8. Like, 8 is definitely the GOAT. It does, like, the best combos. It, like, confirms everything. It definitely does a lot. Yeah, I mean, 7 also reads inputs. It's It definitely does. But it doesn't do as good of uh, confirms and stuff as 8, I think. So it's not as impactful, maybe. Oh, that comboed. Is that really? I wonder if that's his crouching jab or if it's his crouching medium punch. That's his crouching jab, okay. Unless it's a command normal. The the CPUs you can destroy, but you, there's certain rules you have to remember against them. Wow, that reached really far for his level three. The way to beat the CPUs is like, you don't throw fireballs against them really. You like, just meaty them over and over and you trap them in the corner with like buttons and you don't ever do, th there's like lots of ways to win that are like very effective. Oh, Dalsum's winning. Oh, punish. Oh, Dalsum CPU, no. Yeah, you can like sweep them. You can just drive rush over and they win. And like, there's lots lots of ways to cheat, uh, cheese them. Oh no, he's gonna die. I fight them like they're a human. So I'm like, I'm just dead. If you throw fireballs and stuff, like a normal human opponent, you know, like they just, they just destroy you. I'm surprised that worked. I guess that was the startup of the headbutt. Dude, why is Kimberly just beating up every character? That was hilarious. He dashed under and Ochioed the jump. This is his forward heavy kick now, right? I'm pretty sure. This little, st little kick he does. I'm pretty sure it is. She is vibing. Kim's fun. She's a cool character. She's a special move character. If you don't want to use normals and you just want to, you know, if you're just trying to, you're not trying to play footsies. You're not trying to look at the screen. You just want to do moves and kill your opponent. That's, she might be the character for you. The buff buffs his hands, I'm pretty sure, right? Like it gives him the buffs that he got in like five where he could combo off them and stuff. Jab, jab, headbutt work. So he doesn't just have to do hands. I tried a uh, wow that splatter from far. I tried like jab jab Blanca ball and it didn't work when I was trying it. Maybe I did something wrong. It had to be standing jab or something. But um, he had to do hands after. Yeah, see he can combo off this. 
Whoa, juggle? That's that's the new sumo move. This is the launcher off this. Remember I talked about how he has this? Off the sumo rush, and then it, boom, he gets the headbutt. That's cool. It's her. She's here. She's arrived. <laughs> Walked up and just threw the button. Oh, I wonder, actually... Well, yeah, hands breaking armor does not surprise me at all. That's one thing that's pretty nice about Honda, huh? You can probably just buffer into hands. He might not even have to drive impact to you. He might just be able to to just hands the cancels. Although drive impact's probably better. Dude, her and here. Damn. Oh my god, that almost killed. That did so much. Holy shit, that did so much damage. This move does so much. It's absurd. Oh, nice. He gets jab medium off that. He, did he have the buff? Oh, he did. Okay. That's a cool throw. <laughs> the jumping. I love that the other CPU doesn't know what to do about the jumping. Man, you build it super so fast. I actually think in this game, spending super meter frequently is really good because... It takes your opponent's drive gauge and you build super meter incredibly quick. Like it's round two and they both have three bars. They've got like a ton very quickly. Hey, it's Blanca Lily. Win. The nice thing about getting the win buff from full screen is you just Condor Spire in, right? Oh, this matchup is funny too. I wonder how it's going to be in this game. Historically, T Hawk versus Blanca is miserable. Right? So like, you know, is this the is this the return? Not enough. Power up. Everything she does puts you so far. Oh my gosh, she did not just come in and grab that. It's miserable for a T Hawk. So bad. I think it, it kind of looks like that Spire can be spaced out to be safe, to be honest with you, from that far. It looked like it was safe. Like 7-3? Yeah. It was, it was like, I think most people thought it was 7-3, right? Or maybe it was worse? It was really bad. I think, yeah, I think it might have been worse than that. Oh, that's a cool combo. I mean, it's incredibly bad. Like... He has no punish on Blanca Ball. He can't jump or move against a bunch of the stuff he does. Like, it's just really annoying. Hey, Blanca Chan's on the ground, but he didn't get to do electricity, so he never got activated. Heavy kick anti air. There's no in game commentators I didn't see yet. No, I also didn't turn them on, though. I wonder if Heavy Kick's actually like a real anti air now. That's her sweep. Yeah, this is also just a special move for him now. He can just do this. The scoop. This is um, a uh, his V skill in Street Fighter V, and now it's like a thing that he can do. Now I think a lot of people will use the commentators. The flop. That did so much damage, man. It it does. I think it is a grab because he was just blocking, right? Unless the, the CPU just chose to get hit. Wow, she had time to DP there. Manon Zangief. Oh, you can set it to not be Pokemon style, right? This isn't Pokemon style. This is, um, whatever it's called. Waseda. Oh, God. Manon, oh my. This is the thing about CPUs, right? Like, when you fight them, like, they have, they can instantly command grab any hurtbox you do. So, like, you know, you, you might just get smoked. I don't know. Like, this is just how it goes. Happened to me. I existed and then Zangief CPU just command grabbed me and I was like, my bad. This character is going to be so funny because you know Mar uh, Manon's going to go into like round three with like four or round two with four and you're going to be like, it's over, bro. 
I'm dead. Because she's just going to hit you once, and then you're just like, I guess it's over for me. Command ground? No, it just does the super. She likes this level one, this CPU. Hasn't really done the other supers at all. Look at how far that command grab goes to. Oh, it killed. It killed. Cammy DJ. I haven't seen that much Cammy because I've just kind of been like, yeah, everybody's got Cammy. I don't need to watch. That's sort of been my my thought process. So oh, she just trade comboed off that. Did you see that? This traded with a jab. And then she had enough time. Oh, that's messed up. Spin Knuckles hit stun was more than the jab. So she can just combo off this on the trade. Spiral up. Man, her light kick goes really far. Oh, that was spooky. Light kick goes real far and it's special cancelable. That combo was sick. Okay. Crouching heavy, crouching medium. This is machine gun or is this the sway punch? It's the it's the EX sway, right? EX sway and then you get the launcher after. And then dry rush, heavy punch, and a machine gun upper. EX machine gun looks sick too though. Oh, uh-oh. She might burn him out. Not quite. No. Sway overhead. Oh my jump. He gets a long time after that went on knockdown too. Wow, did you see that? Her hurt box of her command or of her dive kick here got clipped by this. You see this? So she's recovered, like she's like about to hit the ground, but then the hurt box of it gets smoked by up kick. Cannon spike. Wow, that whiff recovered pretty fast. Oh, Hooligan looks really scary in this game, I have to say. Because it uh it what's it called? Oh, dead probably. No, that was level two or level three. In this game, Hooligan looks extremely fast. Like, like that's that's pretty quick. And if you try to just like uh if you try to just parry the Hooligan on reaction, she could just empty throw you or do you Hooligan in to throw and catch you, you know? In the old, older games, like, usually Hooligan's pretty bad. I'm curious if uh, it's actually going to be good in this game or if it's just going to be, like, it looks good, but then it's not. Yeah, I saw Wooly has the move list out there, which is cool because somebody needed to do two things. Somebody needed to record all the supers, which Vicious did, and someone needed to record all the move lists. Those are, like, two very important jobs, and uh, I didn't want to do them. <laughs> DJ Skit seems good. I think the feints seem good. He has like a lot of standing resets actually, which I think is really interesting. It might end up being very, very good. He might be able to just standing reset you over and over and over and do nasty shit, which I'm kind of hype about actually. Listen. Every morning at 9 a.m., Boots, Sejan Boots in chat, Boots comes up into the bed and he sticks his face in my face and wakes me up and then makes me pet him. Same thing with Teo. Teo will sleep on the bed. But he doesn't like demand attention. He's just like, cool, I get to just vibe on the bed and sleep like a normal cat, you know?